know, Mother Nature cooperated sure. for the most part. There yeah. were some light showers out there, but certainly, you know, we had some pretty good uh, sunsets coming in. Great photos sent into us. So you can always send them into us. News at coin.com. Bob O'Brien sent this one in from Waldport. And boy, does the sky look angry out there. Just you can see that shower, that cloud. It looks like it's hitting the ground way out there in the ocean. That's actually a shower coming down out there in the ocean. And the sun trying to peek through right close to sunset today. And this picture was taken yesterday, but I loved it so much I wanted to show it. it sent in to us from Dale Harmer. It's Friday sunset from Oceanside. Just a spectacular photo. Thanks so much. And you may have noticed temperatures were up a little bit today. Actually up close to average 48 in Lake Oswego, 47 for Wilsonville, as well as Sio and Rainier coming in at 46 degrees. Our statewide number. Really close to average, just a degree off here in Portland. 47 for Portland and Salem. 48 down the valley for Eugene, as well as Newport and Astoria. Over to the east side, everybody there in the 30s and 40s. And we'll add generally about the same numbers tomorrow east of the Cascades. We're going to cool quite a bit here west of the Cascades. And rainfall today, 45 one hundredths there in Astoria, two tenths of an inch in Eugene. And east of the Cascades, everybody generally less than a tenth of an inch. And a lot of that actually falling in snow form today. Outside, if you're heading out tonight, temperatures in the upper 30s to low 40s. So plan on uh, definitely a light jacket and maybe bring the umbrella because there are still some scattered showers out there. 39 for Salem, 39 as well as for the Dalles and Hood River and already down to 32 degrees at this hour in Bend. Live 3D pinpoint Doppler, just some widely scattered showers out there. Pretty good batch heading up into the Cascade foothills right now. And uh, the snow level right about 1,500 feet to 2,000 feet right now. It's going to come down to about 1,000 to 1,500 overnight over to eastern Oregon. It's had some widely scattered snow showers earlier today. Those have since tapered off. We're going to see those redevelop as we go into the overnight hours. And that's because these little bands of cool showers really continuing to rotate inland over the next 12, about to 18 hours. But notice this system here. The bulk of it is actually heading to our north, but we're going to get clipped by this little area of development right there, and that's going to slide in as we go into Sunday afternoon. So we're going to see those Sunday morning rain showers turn into more of a steady rain as we go into the afternoon. Walking you through raincast, I'm going to stop this at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Still seeing some widely scattered showers. There's that snow up over the Cascades and also up over the coast range as well. And if you're up above about 1,000 feet in the morning, definitely could see some wet snowflakes mixing in. And as we go through the rest of the afternoon, really that rain starts to kick in and really increases we go into the afternoon. Same routine for Monday. Starts mostly dry, and then we'll see those showers increase in the afternoon. Now, out along the coast, morning showers and fog giving way to rain in the afternoon. Same thing for the I 5 corridor. Overnight lows in the 30s, tomorrow's highs in the 40s. Areas of fog, snow, and rain showers, they'll increase, especially Sunday night. Afternoon highs in the 30s, and showers increasing for the gorge. West wind 10 to 20 miles per hour. Could see a few wet snowflakes there. Snow level in the afternoon jumps up to about 2,000 feet, but definitely winter driving conditions over the Cascade Pass. In here in the metropolitan area, morning showers and fog giving way to increasing rain in the afternoon. And our day planner out the door in the morning, temperatures in the 30s for all areas. A few showers, some patches of fog, especially towards the Columbia River, and then that rain increases as we go into the 4 o'clock hour, especially. I'd say between about 1 and 4, it should really start to kick in. And then as we go through the next seven days, I promise some 50s. Look at Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. It looks like we're going to warm into the 50s at this point. If you have to, say, mow the yard or whatever you want to do outside, Friday would be your day. 54 degrees, and it looks like a partly to mostly sunny day. All so, right. Yeah, yeah, that does look pretty good. Thanks yeah. a lot, Brian.